And I'll give an example, and this was one of the early breakthroughs in soil health had to do with soil's disease suppressiveness. And we had great programs this morning on it. Yeah. But it affected us directly. We started growing edible dry beans. In the first year we grew them, it was like printing our own money. It was such a profitable crop. By the time we'd been growing them for six years, they had root rot. And the yields had dropped way off. And it was a case of, do we drop this crop? Or do we figure out how to grow it like it used to grow? And by incorporating different species in our crop mix, by putting in cover crops and building up the soil health, we actually doubled the yields of the dry beans back. Now in that case, yield trumped everything because that made such a huge difference in our bottom line. Now if, if the yield drop isn't that dramatic, then access to markets would be more important. Um, I think I tried to allude to this earlier about productivity. If soil health, it, so a farm is a business and a business is selling Unless you can get on a special niche marketing for quantity, I mean quality traits, right. but but commodity businesses are selling on volume, um, so yield matters and productivity matters, and I fully believe, and I'm sitting up here today because I believe that soil health is is crucial to productivity, short and long term.